All right, Mike Sheldahl here with Cycling Strong, and we are Interbike 2016, having a blast. I'm here with Craig with Be Cool. They're doing simulated trainers, and uh, something that I thought was really interesting. Thought we'd give Craig a chance to kind of give a, a description of what they do, what makes them unique, and uh, see what they're all okay. about. Go ahead, Craig. Well, actually, the trainers are real. <laughs> <laughs> we, Be Cool is actually a, a two-part system. You have the trainer, which is, we have a, a, an Ant Plus, it uses Ant Plus and Bluetooth Smart that communicates wirelessly to your Mac, Windows, Android, or iPad device. Um, and it interfaces with either any of the other Ant Plus apps like Zwift, Trainer Road, Perf Pro, Kino Maps, we work with those. But we also have our own simulator app, which, and the whole platform which is really a, a very robust system that has a lot of features. You can ride with other people. You can race with anybody anywhere in the world, no matter where they are, so long as you have an internet connection. You can ride on any course in the world. We have over a million courses in the library right now, adding about 10,000 a month. Um, they have, we have about uh, a couple, probably 2,000, maybe 2,500 with actual video. Like, this will come in in full resolution in, a, in about five seconds depending on your bandwidth. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we got Interbike Wi-Fi. Thank you very much. But there it goes. So we've got a, about a couple thousand with, with, that have this view. Uh, we have half a million plus that have this view, which is similar to what you might see on something like Zwift. The big difference between what this is and what Zwift is, is this is all reality-based. And this is all, what, it, what we do is we take the, you take nothing but a GPS file from like your Garmin, from Strava. You can in fact sync your Garmin and Strava account. So every time you upload the Strava or Garmin, it comes in to be cool. The ride's already available for you to ride seconds after you hit send. And automatically, it will be converted to a view like this. And what's cool about this... So you, so you go out and you do your local yeah. climb, come in and sync it up, and you go indoors... You don't even you have to ride. sync it up. If all, all you do is synchronize your Strava account with your Be Cool account. And it's there. As soon as you've hit send with Strava, it's in there, and usually within an hour or two, it'll be converted to 3D, like this. And otherwise, you'll get a map view, which... This is going to come in... We've got the map set on high res because we're doing a, a, um, a, a terrain map because you can, you can do all the maps in terrain, road, or satellite mode. And that can zoom in, and then you can see where everyone is on the course. But usually within a few hours, it gets converted to this. Now with this, you can, you can change your view. You can go further back. You can go first person. You can go back in the middle. You can also look behind you. What's really, what's really awesome about this is this uses the actual weather conditions sun and moon position and everything on the course at the time you're riding. In fact, it will, if, it, if you enable real wind, it'll adjust the resistance on the trainer based on the wind situation, whether it's headwind, tailwind, how much, whether you're drafting or not drafting. So if you're doing it for course recon for Kona, for example, super windy course, you get on here, the resistance is all going to be changed based on what the wind conditions are like on Kona right now. And in fact, if it were raining there, you'd see rain. If it were snowing, you'd see snow. The shadows are accurate. It knows the cloud cover. It knows the sun position. It knows the moon position. It knows the moon phase. It knows what season it is. It knows whether the leaves have turned. That's how I found out it was fall in Slovenia this time last year. I was riding it. We have a lot of routes in Slovenia for some reason because we have a lot of users in that area. And, and a lot of our content is, is just you know other Be Cool subscribers that have uploaded their own routes. Very cool. We have, you know, so. So, so, so one question I wanted to ask is, um, I've gotten into structured training as I'm trying to improve yeah. my performance, um, compete yeah. better. If somebody's wanting to get structured training yeah. plan, how can they integrate well, that into a, There's cool. a couple ways you can do it. What, uh, what a lot of coaches will do is they'll go onto the website and they will go in and set up a, they'll either set up just a, a, um, a session with slope changes and targets for either pulse or power, or you can even set up uh, targets for cadence if you want. Okay. Um, and they'll set up the session and they'll drop it in their client's box, you know, in their, in their program folder. And when they log in, they look in program and there it is. The other thing you can do on your own, if, you're, if you don't have a coach or, um, or you don't, 
um, you don't really get too into it, is you can just do a custom training plan. So you just you go to the website and log in, you say, you click cu create custom plan, it asks you a couple simple questions, like you know what's your goal, what's your end date, how much time do you have to train, it'll automatically create all those sessions, put them in your calendar, and every time you go to the, to the uh, and log in onto the simulator, you look in, in um, plans and there's what you're doing today and, and that's all built. Now those you're just basically looking at slope changes in your data but you can if you wanted to and a lot of coaches do this too is they'll take something like the climb of Alpe d'Huez which is a pretty constant seven eight percent grade so anytime you got a constant grade you can overlay anything on top of it. So a lot of guys will put they'll put intervals on top of something like Alpe d'Huez or, or a, a flat course or something that's consistent. Or they'll go find a course that they're going to race on and say, I want to do intervals on Mount Washington or something. Okay. So, so I, I'm going to set this one at, you know, I know where this slope change is, I'm going to do an interval for that, and then, and then set targets for those, those sections. It can get a little complicated if you're trying to do something where you want to, you want to do a structured workout on a specific, on specific terrain, but it's, very, it's, it's easy to do, it's just a little tedious. Cool. Tell us where we can find out more information about that, maybe a little bit about pricing. Okay. You, you've got the actual trainer, right. you've got the software, so tell us a little bit about pricing. And, okay. and well, this is the, the Be Cool Pro, uh, also known as the Smart Pro. It retails for $6.99. That comes with a year, a coupon for a year of the premium subscription, which would normally be $15 a month. $15 a month. Yep. Or if you buy it by the year, it's $144, it comes down to $12. And you can, if you do buy it by the year, you can roll over up to three unused months. So, okay. so if you're, you know, in like June, July, and August, when you're not riding, then you can roll those months over. Um, and that is the new Be Cool Go, which is going to retail for four seventy nine. Okay. That only comes with three months of the premium. Uh, the big difference is between the two. This will simulate a twenty percent grade, do twelve hundred watts. The outriggers are a little bit wider, so a little bit more stable. That one will only do an 8% grade max. Okay. Uh, what happens when you go over an 8% grade is because it'll only, it'll only do an 800 watt, you know, it'll offer 800 watts of resistance. When it has you on a course that goes above 8%, what it does is it calculates back based on the power you're putting in, because it calculates power, how fast you'd be going if you were on the, say that 9 or 10% grade, and then it adjusts your speed accordingly. So you're still putting out, you know, 300 watts or so going up that climb. But you're on an 8%, and it's supposedly a 9%. So now your speed is going to be, you know, six per miles an hour instead of seven yeah. miles an hour. Super cool, awesome product to check out. Winter's coming for where we live. Uh, this would be a great way to get past that monotony of indoor training. So go check them out and keep cycling strong.